Hi everyone, this is Mark of TechPinas.com and I'm now here in Luneta Park in my hometown, Metro Manila to do a camera comparison between three of these best-selling mid-range Android smartphones that are out in the market. The Samsung Galaxy A50, the Oppo F11 Pro, and the Vivo V15. So I will be comparing the performance of these phones in terms of how well they capture photos and videos. So all of these videos that you're currently looking at are recorded without an external microphone. So we're just uh, we're just using the onboard microphone on these smartphones. Okay, so I'm sure that many of you are interested to check out how well these camera phones perform because all of them are best-selling models this 2019. So if you're interested, join me. Let's go! Oppo F11 Pro has a dual rear camera module made up of a 48 megapixel f1.8 main cam plus a 5 megapixel depth sensor. The main cam can also shoot full HD 1080p 30fps clips. This model has a 16 megapixel front facing camera that can also shoot full HD videos at 30 frames per second. The front cam is in the motorized rising mechanism which allowed Oppo to give this phone an all-screen face. Samsung Galaxy A50 has three cameras at the back. It has a 25 megapixel f1.7 main cam, an 8 megapixel f2.2 camera with ultra wide lens, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. The 25 megapixel front facing camera, like the main cam at the back, can also shoot full HD 30 FPS clips. The Vivo V15 also has a triple rear camera module made up of a 12 megapixel f1.8 primary cam, an 8 megapixel f2.2 secondary cam with ultra wide lens, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. The main cam can shoot full HD 30 frames per second clips. Vivo V15 has a 32 megapixel front facing camera with f2.0 aperture, and this one can also shoot full HD 30 frames per second videos. Vivo V15 has an off-center motorized elevating mechanism housing the front-facing camera. Okay, let's start with the photo comparison. These three photos were taken at around 5 p.m. using the primary rear cam of each phone. For me, Vivo V15 delivered the brightest shot while Oppo F11 Pro gave the best dynamic range. In this set, interestingly, Samsung Galaxy A50 gave us the brightest image with the coolest colors. Vivo V15 had the warmest tones. And finally, Oppo F11 Pro, I believe, gave us the most true-to-life use. In these photos of flowers, the Vivo V15 delivered the shot with the most muted colors. The Samsung Galaxy A50 looks the most saturated, while the Oppo F11 Pro sits right smack in between. In this set, which utilizes the depth sensor on each camera phone, I think the Vivo V15 delivered the most natural looking background blur. What do you think? I took these photos of the facade of the National Museum of Natural History at around 5.30 in the afternoon and there was still enough ambient light so I didn't turn on night mode on Vivo V15 and Oppo F11 Pro. I snapped these images of the facade of the National Museum of Anthropology at around 7 p.m. and it was already dark. And I think that without turning on night mode on Vivo V15 and the Oppo F11 Pro, these two phones perform just as well as the Samsung Galaxy A50 in capturing photos in low light conditions. And that can also be said in these photos of jeepneys that I took just a few minutes after. If anything, with automatic settings and no night mode, the Samsung Galaxy A50 delivers a slightly brighter shot, but in terms of details and colors, I think all three phones are pretty much even. One useful imaging feature shared by the Vivo V15 and the Samsung Galaxy A50, which the Oppo F11 Pro lacks, is the secondary ultra-wide-angle camera at the back. This shooter lets you capture more of the scene that's in front of you without taking several steps back. And this is particularly useful for taking landscape images, travel photos, or group shots. 
Earlier, I showed you low-light photos taken without turning on night mode on Oppo F11 Pro and Vivo V15. Now, let me give you images shot in nightscape and super night mode on both devices. Sadly, as of making this video, the Samsung Galaxy A50 doesn't have a similar dedicated low-light shooting mode. Nightscape mode on Oppo smartphones and Super Night mode on Vivo handsets are essentially handheld long exposure shooting modes that deliver greater color saturation, finer details, and more attractive contrast and low light images. In these shots of the Rizal Monument in Luneta, you can clearly see how the Nightscape and the Super Night modes we're able to make the lines appear sharper and the colors to pop out more. As such, I think these low-light modes are a great addition to the arsenal of any budding mobile photographer. Now let's take a look at sample selfies in portrait mode taken using all three smartphones. Vivo V15 has the highest resolution front cam of the bunch and you can clearly see that in the finer details and greater clarity of the resulting shot. In terms of tones, the Oppo F11 Pro selfie leans more towards blue. The Samsung Galaxy A50 shot favors yellow, while the Vivo V15 image looks the warmest. Vivo's AI beauty software appears to be the most aggressive of all three, even more than Oppo. Frankly, I look least touched up on the Samsung Galaxy A50 shot. So which phone gives us the best or most appealing selfie? Let me know in the comment section below. Finally, let's take a look at the full HD videos recorded using the main rear camera and the front cam of these smartphones. I won't do my comparison commentary so you can hear the audio from each clip better. Just take note of the handheld video stabilization, the dynamic range, and the low-light performance of each handset. Then feel free to share your observations with me. Okay, so these are sample videos taken using the front-facing camera of the Samsung Galaxy A50, the Oppo F11 Pro, and the Vivo V15. So let me know what you think about the stabilization. And also the overall quality of the shot. So which video looks most stable to you? Which one do you think would be best if you're using these phones for vlogging? Which one is clearest? So all of these smartphones can shoot videos using the front-facing camera 
at full HD or 1080p. So I'm not using any gimbal at all. I'm just hand holding uh, these smartphones using uh, a special tripod that I make for it. Okay, so the audio that you're hearing is recorded using the onboard microphone on these camera phones. So I'm not using any external microphone. So which one is best in terms of picking up audio using their mics? Let me know. Of course, you can always um, use an external microphone with these uh, camera phones using, for example, the open camera application which supports that. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts about the Samsung Galaxy A50, the Oppo F11 Pro, and the Vivo V15's imaging performance in the comment section below. Okay? Thumbs up!